for tuning in to Let's Talk About It Media 21. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And please turn on the notification bell. That way, every time I upload a video, you'll be the first one to see it. Let's get into it. What we're going to talk about, we talk about celebrity news, celebrity gossip, what's going on on IG and Google. Fair use. Copyright disclaimer under Section 107 of the Copyright Act of 1976, allowances made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comma, comments, comma, news reporting, comma, teaching, comma, scholarships, and research. Fair use is use permitted by a copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing. All comments are alleged, in our opinion, and for entertainment purposes only. And don't forget, the Cash App is Let's Talk About It Media. And thank you for your love and support. So don't forget to like, to comment, and also subscribe. So over the last several weeks, everybody has been talking about the Scott sisters. What's going on? What's transpired? Did a most recent video, and I was recapping and review of pretty much everything that was going on. And now she sat with Andy. I want to say it was either Saturday or Sunday. I think it was Sunday. And everybody was like, finally. He sat with the Scott sisters. They've been trending for so long. Many were like, why is it taking so long? But of course, her sister sat with Andy first and now it was Latasha's turn. So allegedly, this is what's being said. Latasha clarifies that her and her husband Rocky are not in an open marriage, despite she previously said that they were. We have open communication. He does not have it that good. Okay, everybody, we heard what she said. Now, let me tell you why there's a cleanup on aisle 9, 10, and 11. If you're doing a Christian album, people in the Christian community, whether you're apostolic, non-denominational, Baptist, it doesn't matter. Christian people are very judgmental, very critici they, cr they criticize, period. And if you're going into that genre in regards to Christianity, Christian music, you have to have a persona of you're trying to live a life of and without sin. Basically, let's just say it that way. So when you go into that, this is the biggest thing. Good, bad, ugly, or different, they did not make the Scott sisters look that great. In regards to the money, where's the money? Who had the money? Who showed the ID to get the money? The person that sent the money will know who got the money and who who it, count, it routed it to. So you can't hide that. So it's funny to me that the sister, well, from what I see, it's funny to me from watching the show, they did the show. I'm going to just do the recap. They did the show. The women did a great job. Everybody's tra traveling to the venue. It was very interesting to me that they didn't have already placement in regards to going to like a dance studio saying this is what we're going to do it seems like s seems like swv was more organized than escape it seems that way and maybe there was some confusion because you know the uh latasha wasn't there several times so the girls they when i take that take that back it did seem like escape was trying to practice for that and the, and the sister wasn't there. But then when they got on stage, there was a lot of confusion. And then that's the biggest thing. When you have a show that big, we have FaceTime now. Everybody could have been on a FaceTime conference call. You know, you could have been dancing in your house. <laughs> Things are different now where you have so much media and you have so much technology. Things could have been kind of almost rehearsed prior to a day or two before. It just seemed interesting. I'm glad, though. They got there two days before <laughs> they they did the show. But then that's, I get why Candy was saying that she liked that they practiced ahead of time. But let's get to this clip and then we'll talk more about the show. So Andy's talking to her about let's clarify what was said. And then we're going to get to her video of what she did say. And many people are going to talk about that. So let's get to it. Because he's going to say it in a minute. Because I know with with his stuff, 
you know, we got to be careful. We only have a few I'm seconds. Out of proportion that you have an open marriage. What you meant was, oh my God. what you meant well, was, we communicate. We have open communication. Yeah. Right. But and then we keep things it. private. Yeah, and it so, got yeah. blown up to he say. He doesn't have it that good. No. Okay. <laughs> so now let's play what she said, because there's a difference. Open communication, she would say, we're, and she did say that several times, but then she was talking about couples and, and I know the truth and I know everything. So it was how she placed it. This is the biggest thing. That's her life. That's her husband's life. Whatever goes on, things just seem extremely messy on her side. And it seems like escape wanted to expose it all period. When you look at the whole situation ship, it looked like escape wanted to expose it all. The dues, the, the money, the tape, the conversations, the receipts about if there's any back um, side deals, you know, everything, you know, talking about her having uh, this entourage and who's paying for all those people. So let's get to the clip where she talked about the relationship. And I think that's why there's a cleanup on aisle 9, 10, and 11. And do we have problems? Are we... Perfect? No, we're not. Is he perfect? No, he's not. Am I perfect? I'm not perfect. I'm very aware. I'm very much aware of the allegations that are happening about him. I see everything. As a wife, you know, you see everything. But with our relationship, you know, some people keep the fact that they have an open relationship quiet. They want to keep it private. But we have that. And for us to be judged or whatever... By the things that people are saying, y'all keep judging, y'all keep living, y'all got marriages, everybody ain't gonna always be true. Things happen. At the end of the day, do I stand by side my husband? I know, y'all think I don't know, I know everything. Everything. I'm not oblivious to things. My husband and I, what y'all don't understand, we do have an open relationship. We have spoken about things. That's my, that is my private business. But because, and do we have problems? Are we perfect? No, we're not. Is he perfect? No, he's not. Am I perfect? I'm not perfect. I'm very aware. I'm very much aware of the allegations that are happening about. So she said it. She said open marriage. She said open communication. She said it both. So the biggest thing is they can do whatever they want. They can do it however they want. It just seems like. Um, even on the show, when they were trying to practice, there was so much stuff going on. And it, it it's almost like Tamika's now seeming like she's chasing her sister to be back with her sister. But now Latasha's kind of like, no, you outed me. You outed me about a bunch of stuff. You blasted me on national TV. You told how you felt to the world. And it seems like Tamika's trying to get her back. And then you see Candy hugging her in the show. And it's kind of like, you know, when you're having, when you have sisters, sisters going to give you that love, support, what's going on, family stuff, da, 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 da. But you understand, she understands Candy has Tiny. So that's already a tight knit group. And people are talking about Candy and these threesomes. Who's she having threesomes with? Uh. And that's the biggest thing. She was like, okay, we outed her. Now I got to put a little bit of what I'm doing. So people kind of talk about me a little bit. But it's like, oh, you're a married woman. So now see how she put it out on her show. But she didn't on her, her podcast or cha uh, YouTube channel. But she didn't put it out that on the show. So only a select few is going to hear it from her podcast. But she never put it out on the show. You understand the difference? So there's game player here. The Real Housewives of Atlanta women like to have stuff for a click and a view. They like to have a moment. I don't think she would have ever put that out on the show that they had that the threesomes. I don't. There's always, Candy, you know how they say people play chess and I'm playing checkers or whatever, whatever the saying is. Candy has moments where you could tell when she's saying this, she's doing this. And it's like, I'm going to just give you a little bit, but you can talk about me, but I'm going to hold this to myself. You understand? So, and this is the funny thing. People keep asking, where was Tip? Why wasn't Tip in the SWV Queens of R&B? I don't think I've seen 
any scenes of him. And people were like, where's Tip? Todd was helping Candy pack. You see Latasha with her husband. Tamika, I'm not certain what that whole situation is. But yeah, the show is interesting. And I get why they say, you know, you know, you have Coco, how she feels, you know, and it's kind of like they were off to the side saying, so y'all think it's me that's going to speak up. So I, I get the moment in between, you know, how the woman felt in regards to Candy's assistant speaking out. And then she was like, you know, just, just sit in the back, let, let us work through it. But everybody was kind of like, a lot of that should have been worked out off on the side. Why haven't they met prior to? It's good that they did the outfits together. The outfits were, mm, uh, the outfits, were, let me say, who did I like the best? I liked Tamika's outfit the best. It was really nice. You could tell it was professionally made, designed. I liked Tamika's outfit the best. Tiny's was okay. The little belt thing she had going on. I'm trying to remember Candy. She was okay. But then, of course, she had this big old hole in her stocking. She had to fix that before she got on on stage. And I'm trying to remember SWV's outfits. The one, the one sister had on a white shirt and the little things coming down. And then the other sisters had on, like, black and sparkly. So I kind of liked it. But all in all, I liked Tamika's outfit better. And, of course, she comes in with the entourage, people behind her. They're doing her hair. They're doing her makeup. They're talking. But then I also love, this is the, huh, let's get it together. I liked how SWV management was there with them. I liked how SWV management brought plaques of when the show started and towards the end of the show, what they sold. Now, that's management. Now, where was, where was Escape's management? Who is their manager that managed them now? So that may be the reason why there's so much confusion on what's going on with them. But well wishes in regards to that. I enjoyed the show. I think that was the last one. Well wishes to the Scott sisters. Will they get another season? It hasn't been announced yet. But if they do get another season, another person's going to be next in regards to outing their business. That's the sad part. If they get another season, you know it's coming. Who will be next that they're going to either drag, shade, or, you know, a relationship will be questioned. Like I said, Bravo loves it. Bravo loves it when you bring them something about cheating. Bravo loves it when you bring them something about legal problems or concerns. Bravo loves it when relationships are allegedly broke up and there's issues there. And then there's issues that can continue for another season. They love it. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for supporting the channel. Like, comment, and subscribe. Everyone, have a great day. Focus on healthy, safe relationships. Be around people that's loving, kind, and respectful.